Hello friends, hope y'all are having a great day. We are gonna make this cute kitten around card today on our Facebook Live. I just think it's so adorable. I mean, seriously, stinking cute. This bundle from the catalog, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, gotta have it. I've always loved teachers, children, playing it just brings joy to my heart and this bundle is perfect for anyone who knows any kids um, if you have your teacher if you have grandkids if you have kids if you go to a church where there's kids I have a friend who has recently bought this paper because she's making cards for the children's hospital so she's making cards for them giving them to them you need this bundle, okay? And it is, the bundle is not retiring, but the designer paper is, which is another reason why I want to show it to you now because you don't want to miss on this designer paper and then have the bundle for the next year without the paper, okay? So um, let's get started on our card. Now I'll show you the page it's on in the book it's page 48 and 49 is the suite this is the adorable paper it has gobs and gobs of different types of children okay 12 sheets of kids I don't even know how many there are the fabulous set of dies which I'm going to show you here's some cute projects made with it you cannot go wrong I love this little slumber party card it's so cute and then here's a close-up of the stamp set and some more projects. Um, also, the bundled price will retire after the end of this month. So you, you can get 10% off on it until the 30th, okay? Or until, you know, it could go on not orderable status because people figure these things out. All right. So let's get started. We're going to use a piece of um, fresh freesia, which I start by knocking over my drink. At least it had a, a lid. I've learned I have to have lids. I'm like a preschooler. All right. So we're going to have a little piece of fresh freesia. And then I've taken a little smidge of the designer paper. And actually, I've cut it, but I've lost it, so I'm just going to cut it again. So this is the back side of one of the sheets of this designer paper, and it has all the best patterns. So I'm just going to cut it five and a quarter by four. Um, it's a great background because it's monochromatic, so it's not too wild for your card background. I love that. Okay, and we're going to stick that down to our card base. Adorable. All right, now I'm going to show you this designer paper and where we're going to get these kids. So we have this sheet of paper has kids, I would call these like kids at play. They're exploring. We have all different types of kids. We have girls, boys, um, adventurers, princesses, children in wheelchairs, kids on a boat, dark, light, middle, all the different kids, which is so wonderful that Stampin' Up! has such a great representation. So we're going to use this little guy. I've already cut him out with scissors. Very easy. Paper snips. And then the other girl I'm using is on this piece. These are kids at school, I think. So they look like kids at preschool. She's gotten her paper back. These are whispering. Adorable. I'll show you the other types of kids we have here. We have this group of kids are playing with their pets, which I mean, who can't love that? 
this group of children are baking. Making things, spilling things, having all kinds of fun. And these children, I believe this is the, nope, there's two more sets. These children are playing outside as children will do. We love that. And then we have these kids reading. They're in the library. They're having a slumber party, so on. So here's the back side. We have this pretty green. We have this whole scene that you can use to make lots of different cards. We have a gorgeous, like this almost becomes like a neutral. I'll show you on a card, the card piece that we just used. And then um, another piece in that same vein, at least color family. And we have this cute blue piece, which makes a cute sky. So <clears throat> you can use both sides of this paper without any question. Now let's get to the dies. This is a stamp set. It's adorable, but you don't, don't skip the dies. All right. We have my favorite die is this one that makes the, um, this, this is going to make a little castle. And then we have this die that cuts out these open stars. Okay. We're going to do that. And then, um, this die cuts out the children on the boat. This die cuts out the, um, wizard looking child. And then we have another die that cuts out the girl we're going to use, but we have a little beach ball, super sweet, a stool. This is a carpet that can go in your classroom. These are little blocks oh, and that's a little flag to put on your castle. I mean, I could have gone and on and on, but you see, these are going to cut out the, the kids. These are not shown to size, but these will cut out the stamped images as well as the corresponding images on the designer paper. So you've got a lot of um, use out of the dies. But my favorite thing is this little castle and I've already cut it. So you've got, you can cut out two little side pieces and then a little archway. And I've also cut out my stars already with the dies. These I've cut from a piece of this designer paper that's on the online exclusive. So you can only get it online. It's Berry Burst and um, Granny Apple Green. You don't want to skip this. It's fantastic. So our online exclusives are like an extension of the catalog. They're fantastic things that are only available online. So make sure and be checking on stampinup.com in my store and see all those things that you can be looking at online. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead first and stick this little castle down while I've got it on my table. So I just, I stick the, I'm gonna stick this straight down to the paper. I'm not going to put it up with dimensionals because I've put the people up with dimensionals and I don't really want to pop up the castle. I want it to be in the background. So I just kind of eyeball where that goes. I could use glue dots here. That would probably make more sense, but I didn't. All right, so we're just gonna pop that down. So now we have our little castle. And I imagine these two kids to be playing in their preschool classroom. They're having so much fun. Uh, I fussy cut this guy. We're gonna pop him up with dimensionals. He's rolling down the road in his cool chair. Think about how wonderful a child who has often received birthday cards that don't represent their situation would feel if they got this birthday card, right? Or that teacher that teaches kids with special needs. You've got a perfect card right here. Now, I have rough cut this little girl out from the designer paper. And I'm going to cut it out with this, with the dies. I've got my mini, my mini out today, my little baby. All right, we're going to pop that down. And I'm going to use a piece of post-it note just to be safe. I used my post-it note tape this weekend and it's still packed away. I don't know about you, but I'm not, I'm not the most, um, 
ahead of the game when it comes to unpacking. Like, I don't like packing either, but I really don't like unpacking things. It's just not fun. I'd rather be crafting, or am I right? All right, so we have our cute little sweetie. She has just gotten her test back. She did perfect on her coloring. All right, so we're gonna pop her down with dimensionals. She's having so much fun with her friend. We're gonna put her way over here because I want that castle to really show. I think it's so cute. And then we're going to stamp the sentiment. Now with our set, we have a variety of sentiments. We have birthday, just a feel good. My mom would call this a warm fuzzy statement. You sparkle every day. And then you are amazing. So that accomplishment or just plain being awesome. Um, I just wanted to kind of put my sentiment up in this corner. So I cut a little banner. I think this is an inch. Let me see. It's, oh, it's seven eighths of an inch. I remember. And I do like this okay, this berry burst, but I felt like I could do better. So whenever I finish a card, there's always one thing that I'm like, hmm, I'd like to tweak that a little bit. That to me is one of the most fun things about making your own cards is you can make them w what you like. So I'm going to try this in Night of Navy. I just thought that would look really cool on this um, uh, fresh freesia. Pretty sure it's going to look awesome. Oh yeah, it does. I love it. It's just as I expected. All right, these this font here reminds me of something out of a Dr. Seuss book. I just, I think it's so cute. It's whimsical. All right, so we're gonna pop that down. And I love that so much. I really wanted the, um, the what you call it? Uh, the, I, I liked how it drew out his pants. I don't know why the Navy, it just, it spoke to me. All right, now we're going to pop on these stars. Now, again, I've cut these stars out with our kitten around dies. You want to get the bundle. It's 10% off until the end of April. So do not snooze on this, okay? All right, now, if I had thought about it, I would have used um, uh, adhesive paper, but I didn't, I did not. So we're going to pick it up from the glittered side, put a little dab of liquid glue on. I'm being very careful because you don't want too much glue. Otherwise, we'll feel like we're in kindergarten where our teacher said, too much, too much. Okay, I made a big mess of glue over there, just an FYI. I'm just gonna do this with my finger at this point. All right, so I want one over here, precious. And when you do make a big mess of glue on your table, you can just use it. I'm gonna put this one here. It actually strategically covers up a little boo-boo that I had. And I'm gonna pop this little star right here. Oh, that's gonna dry clear, but wow, that's a lot of glue. We're gonna just get that up with our finger. Okay, so you are amazing. You are amazing. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're watching me on YouTube, make sure and subscribe. I do videos every week on Wednesdays at one, but I upload them after and you can see all of my videos on my YouTube channel called Paper Made Prettier. Remember the bundle is 10% off until the end of April and that designer paper is retiring. So you want to get that. It's gone after April 30th or when it's gone. So if it sells out before then, don't cry to me. I told you. All right, so here's some other cards I made with it. This was a class I did called Cards for Kids um, and Grands. This was for my customers that have grandkids or kids. 
It was a fun class. We had a gobs of fun. This is card. These are cards made. These three are well, two. One of them is I've sent. Uh, these are two cards that I made with that uh, scenery piece of paper. These three are similar. I've just chosen which kid I wanted and made these cute little cards. And then we have our three adorable kids. And we will see you next week.